Accessible Web, WCAG Manual Auditing, 1.3.1 Info and Relationships. In this video, we'll review how to test the structural and semantic relationships within your content to ensure it's accessible to all users. Let's jump in. Ramp runs automated checks to help identify violations related to information structure and relationships. But a thorough manual audit is essential for confirming semantic accuracy. Let's look at the different categories you'll need to check. Start by testing heading use. Activate the element highlighter to view all headings. Make sure anything coded as a heading acts as a heading. That is, it introduces a new section. If an element is visually a heading but isn't coded as one, add a failure for missing heading markup. Check that heading levels follow a clear hierarchy. For example, heading 1 for the page title, heading 2 for main sections, and heading 3 for subsections. Finally, headings should clearly describe the content that follows. If any heading is vague or misleading, add a failure. Next, verify that landmarks are properly used. Use the element highlighter to identify landmark roles. Ensure each landmark accurately describes its section, like for navigation or for primary content. Confirm there is exactly one main landmark per page. Make sure the main landmark does not include repeating content like navigation or footers. If multiple landmarks share the same role, make sure they have unique accessible names. Now, let's check widgets. For native widgets like form fields, ensure required, disabled, and read-only states are reflected in the accessibility tree using proper HTML attributes. For custom widgets, check for appropriate ARIA attributes like ARIA required, ARIA disabled, or ARIA read-only. If the widget state isn't conveyed correctly, add a failure. Instructions provided for interacting with UI components must be programmatically related. Use the element highlighter to find content referenced with ARIA described by. Verify that all instructional text is linked to the relevant form fields. If instructions are not programmatically associated or are missing altogether, add a failure. Check that only decorative content is inserted using CSS. Activate the element highlighter and use the tool to highlight content added via CSS, before or after. Turn off CSS using the available button in Ramp. If meaningful content disappears when CSS is turned off, add a failure. Check that data tables are semantically correct. To begin, let's check whether data tables are incorrectly marked as presentational. Activate the element highlighter to display all table elements. Determine whether each table is a data table, used to display structured data, or a layout table, used only for visual layout. For data tables, inspect the HTML using developer tools. If a data table uses role equals presentation, or aria hidden equals true, add a failure. Next, make sure the table includes properly coded header cells. Use the element highlighter to highlight all th elements and cells with role equals column header or role equals row header. Review the table structure to ensure all headers are semantically appropriate. If any headers are missing the correct role or element or headers are needed but not present, add a failure. For complex data tables using the headers attribute, use the element highlighter to find table cells with headers attributes Verify that each header's attribute references the correct ID of one or more TH elements. Also ensure each TH used in a reference has a unique ID. If any header's attribute points to a missing or incorrect ID, or if headers are misused, add a failure. Verify proper list structure. Use the element highlighter to show all lists. Make sure any content that functions like a list is marked up as a list. Check that the correct type of list is used, or if any of this is incorrect, add a failure. Bold or italic text should be coded meaningfully. Ensure strong and EM tags are used for emphasis, strong for bold and EM for italics. I and B tags should not be used for emphasis as it only changes the visual styling of the text. 
if visually emphasized text isn't using the correct tag, add a failure. Block quotes should only be used for standalone quotations. Use the element highlighter to find elements. Check that all highlighted content is a proper quotation. If a quote isn't marked up or a block quote isn't actually quoting, add a failure. Make sure citations, subscripts, and superscripts are used correctly. Highlight cite, sub, and sup elements with the tool. Confirm they are used appropriately. If they are used incorrectly or if relevant content isn't marked up, add a failure. Struck through text should convey the same meaning to assistive tech. Check for text that is visually struck through to convey meaning, for example, a price being crossed out. Using a screen reader, check to see if equivalent information is communicated. If not, add a failure. And that completes the audit for Success Criterion 1.3.1 using Ramps Audit Grid and Chrome extension. Now it's your turn. Test your site with Ramps Audit Grid. Try it free for 14 days using the link in the description.